everyone, we're going to find the values of x and y when a transversal intersects two parallel lines. So again, these are parallel lines. It's given, if you see these little ticker marks with the arrows, that means the lines are parallel. So for number 11, we know the intersecting uh, line theorem that those two are congruent. So um, angle X is congruent with 80 degrees. Therefore, X equals 80. And also through our alternate interior angle theorem, um, X degrees is congruent with Y degrees. So 80 degrees uh, is going to be 80 degrees. It's going to equal 80 degrees. So Y equals 80 degrees. Or Y is just 80. For number 12, this one's an easy one. Um, these are uh, parallel lines. So these are all 90 degrees here. So if we use alternate interior... Um, interior angle, this a Y would be 90. So Y is 90. And then for these two intersecting uh, lines here, um, we know that X degrees is congruent with Y degrees. Well, Y is 90. And so this would have to be also 90. So X equals 90. And for number 13, I know exterior alternate interior angles are congruent when you have two parallel lines. So we have Y degrees equals 120 degrees. So Y equals 120. And if Y equals uh, 120, then these two angles are supplementary because of our parallel lines. So that means we have uh, X degrees equals 180 degrees minus 120 degrees, which equals 60 degrees. So X by itself equals 60. And on 14, I know alternate interior angles are congruent. So X degrees equals 65 degrees. So X equals 65. I also know that uh, intersecting lines are congruent. So X degrees equals Y degrees. I know X degrees is 65 degrees. That equals 65 degrees. Therefore, should say congruence. So Y equals 65. And for 15, um, intersecting lines are congruent. So Y degrees is congruent with 130 degrees. Therefore, Y equals 130. And I also know that the consecutive interior angle theorem states that the, these two lines are parallel, say M and N lines are parallel, which they are, then on the consecutive angle theorem says that X degrees plus Y degrees should equal 180 degrees. In other words, they're um, supplementary. So since my Y degrees is 130 degrees, my X must be 50 I just did that mentally, so you have 180 degrees. That means X by itself, let's do this, equals uh, 50. And the last one is this one. So 16, I know alternate um, interior angles are 90. So this is 90. Um, well, if this is 90, then this is 90. 
So x is uh, congruent to 90 degrees. Let me change this up a bit. So the intersecting line theorem means this is 90. Then my alternate interior angle says that x is congruent, x degrees is congruent to 90 degrees. Therefore, x equals 90. And then I have, since this is 90 degrees, my supplementary angle theorem says y degrees plus x degrees must be congruent to 180 degrees. And so we have y degrees plus 90 degrees is congruent to 180 degrees. And just mentally, we know that uh, y degrees is 90 degrees as well. So y itself equals 90. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <music>